My name is Cherish McNamara. I'm an ex-US Air Force instructor pilot. I'm a STEM advocate and I currently work at Western Power as their training and delivery manager. So I'm here today speaking to the students in regards to how aviation and STEM are related. So I'm discussing how science, technology, engineering and math all play into within the aviation industry. Everything from flying airplanes to aviation medicine, weather, and of course, with technology the way it's going, drones, which is something that we're currently using at Western Power um, as well. We've got the science as far as your engineering of aircraft and your aerodynamics, technology of how the aircraft are um, improving and changing over time. So everything from your round analog dials in a cockpit to more ergonomically correct with glass cockpits. You've got more of your math as well that is essential for any pilot or in the aviation industry. But math is, without the right math, you're not gonna be able to take off. You're not gonna be able to get where you need to go. And, and also just that understanding that the aviation industry, it's not a true mathematical or scientific -y kind of industry, but every single part of STEM plays into flying an airplane or aviation industry in some way. Where I see technology playing a big part of the industry going forward is, again, we've seen a lot of changes in the last five, 10 years, even 20 years in the the cockpits themselves, again going from round dials to glass cockpits, but also in the whole unmanned space. So drones have obviously taken off a lot. Um, everyone can go to Big W or wherever and buy a drone, um, but the fact that you can now have a license, a remote pilot license, and be a pilot with a drone um, is something that I don't think was really on anyone's radar 10 years ago or 15 years ago. Um, just like with Western Power, as old school as they are with their lines and poles and how we deliver electricity, they have they are changing the way that we deliver electricity with technology through standalone power systems, batteries, and even in drones. So we've started using drones to be able to check the lines and also if we can start using them in substations. Um, but it's that, that acceptance and embracing technology um, moving forward is is just essential for not just the aviation industry or the electricity industry, but all industries. If I could go back and tell myself, um, my younger self, um, something about STEM or technology moving forward, I would tell myself to just embrace where we're going. Uh, back in the day, we used to kind of shun the pilots who were put on UAVs and say, oh, you're not really a pilot, you're just sitting there flying from the ground. Um, and yet here we are today where that is one of the, the biggest skills you could have. And when it came time for me to kind of transfer into the drone space, I, I hesitated quite a bit, like I put it off for a while because I just still didn't believe that, I guess standing there on the ground with remote control was the same as flying an airplane. And in my heart, I guess I still don't feel like it is the same, but I put off, you know, embracing that and moving into that space because of this, this attitude of, you know, it's, it's just different where I think I would have embraced it earlier if I would have just said, you know, it is different, but it's okay. Um, and I still get to fly and do aviation stuff. advice that I would give students if they were interested in pursuing a career in, in aviation is to, to follow your heart and follow your dream and your passion and actually whether or not that, that drive is within aviation or not, I think it's across the board of find something that you love and you're passionate about because that's what will drive you and when you're faced with all the challenges that you will be faced with. It's not gonna be an easy road, whatever it is that you choose, um, but that it's okay. And you're the one, it's your life. You're the one that has to live that life. So go and do what you wanna go and do and be determined. And for someone who wasn't very good at math and science in school, and yet aviation is very math and science heavy, you can be determined and you can learn. It just takes, it. it takes that 
that push and that determination.